Speaking to the great man, Sir Curly Ambrose, uh, who is very, very impressed with what he's seen in Bangladesh. Sir, a victory in the first test, amazing performance. I know a real fight by this young team in the second. Tell us a little bit about what you're seeing. Certainly, like most West Indians, I'm extremely happy for the guys. One, not too many cricket lovers gave them any chance of beating Bangladesh. And to have won that game in that fashion, to me, was so refreshing. I'm so excited for the guys. And most people talk about second string team. I don't like those words because these guys are the next in line of what we had. So therefore, I'm so happy that they've done well and show all the, the negative ones who think they can't do it, that they can do it at this level. So one nil up into the second one. We're doing extremely well. I'm so happy for them. 400 plus in the first innings. So contributions all around. And I, I hope they can go on to win the second test. You worked with Enkuma Bonner before, you know his skills. You worked with Kyle Mears, you know his ability. You've worked with almost all these players, so I'm sure, you know, I mean, uh, there's Azari Joseph from Antigua, who, who's been very impressive. Joshua De Silva to keep. I'm sure you, you're enjoying these individual performances as well as the team performance. Certainly. Most of these guys are still young, and they got an opportunity to impress, and they certainly did that. Now, it's going to make selection extremely difficult come the next series. Because in my opinion, some of these guys must play. So the guys that didn't go Bangladesh, some of them are going to miss out. But the main fact and the great thing about it is that West Indies cricket looks good for the future because most of these guys are still early 20s. Okay, and um, the, the first test being a bit on that, I mean, it was it was a bit of a miracle for many people. Um, sensational in every way. Um, you know, how do you rate it in terms of history? I mean, it's right up there. We got to admit that. Some people may say, you know, it's only Bangladesh. I'm not for that. Bangladesh is a quality team, especially in their own backyard. And to have traced 395 on the last day. And Kyle Mayers, what a brilliant in his 200 plus, not out. Come on, what can we say? It was an exceptional performance by him and the whole team. We gotta give the team credit as well. And this match now, um, should they push for a win or would you take a draw? No. No, we gotta go and push for a win. We're gonna score more than 400. Bangladesh are just 100 and something for four. We should push for a win, bowl them out cheaply, and if we can enforce a follow on, or back and get some quick runs, back them out of the game, and look for a win. If it doesn't happen, well, it's okay. We're still one nil up, so we gotta push for a win first. And if it doesn't work, we're okay.